Hello my fellow friends, so um, I'm doing this video here to help you guys out, we'll try to get this done as fast as possible because I hear a lot of you are struggling on how to get this done, so I heard what you guys are doing and I'm going to try to help you out with what I think is probably the fastest way instead of doing it through Premiere, cropping it, rotating, all that stuff. Um, with this one, what you can do is just create different solids per face, okay, so there's three faces in the video. So what I did was I created crap. What I did was I got the video and separated it into three, okay? And I'm gonna pretend the other faces don't exist. So when I do the first face, I pretend the other two don't exist. Second face, pretend the other two don't exist. Same thing, okay? So this one, I chose a little section around this area. And what I did was I thought, okay, this person looks like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. So I put Shaggy, face one. Jesse McCartney, face two. Sherlock, face three, okay? So I looked through the footage, and I recommend you do this too, okay? I'm guessing you already did. Figure out, cut the par video into parts like this, and do it by segments, okay? So you're going to have a bunch of these little compositions. I named it original, mask me. So you're going to have section 1, section 2, section 3, okay? Maybe you do it by increments of 5, by seconds. So you have this. And make sure you start with a clean. It could be transition, whatever. As long as it's a clean cut, okay? So clean cut here, clean cut here, because it's simple transition, okay? Easy to go to the next one. So from here, what I did, didn't... I actually, for this clip, I didn't even do anything to Shaggy here, because... I figured I could just do the rest, such as Jesse McCartney. All I did his, and how I did that was, first off, I'm going to give you a couple shortcuts. S, scale, P, position. Hold S and shift and P, sorry. If you press P, so you have position. And while that's open, if you hold shift, you can then press S, R, T, and then toggle them off, okay? So this basically lets you have multiple things open instead of having everything open or just one thing open at a time. And if you didn't know that already, now you do. And another way is just by pressing U, it will only show the things that you have keyframes on. So little life hack for you guys. Okay, so all I did was change the position and the scale. Now, what are these little layers, you may ask? These are solids, okay? It's a black solid with a color. Okay, so legitimately black solid. Full on black solid with a color. Reason the color, it's easier to see when you put it to 25%, okay? So you'd be like, oh, okay, this one is exactly this part here. Perfect, it's beautiful. So that's why I did it like that, okay? So it's a black solid and with a color. Each one of these faces has a different color. I'm going to call them faces instead of solids because that's what they are, they're faces. So, that's the basic format, and I recommend cutting to sections, as I said. So, I did one, and basically animated it here throughout the whole thing. So here was start, created the first frame. I did the end frame, or such as middle frame, what technically this is, the middle frame, and corrected the positions in the between. Okay, all these, if you do F9, it will um, convert the frames from normal keyframes to easy ease, okay? Helps you guys out a bit. So, also, notice the changes in sizes. So, this one, it didn't have any change in size until here. So, here's the difference, the previous size and then the next keyframe is a larger size, okay? So make it so it's always when it's off, off screen, unless the transition requires a change in size during the actual screen. By the way, I'm sorry if I mess up my terms. I'm rushing this. I'm trying to make it as best as possible for you guys, because I know you guys are going to be rushing this video too. So we have Jesse McCartney looking amazing all the way through here, okay? The reason I put it blue so I can identify it. At the end, I will take off the blue and let you leave it black, okay? So now, wh when you're done with all of them, 
you should have multiple colors. I didn't do shaggy here. I should have, but I'm lazy. So here, in this segment, I didn't need to. I got through everything without it. Okay, it's not perfect, but for video purposes, it is. So now what we did go. Bleh. So now what we do is we go to the videos that we have these fabulous models. I renamed them again. I recommend again do it by sections. So you take the actual f one. So we go with Sherlock here. Go up Sherlock, and we see that this is going well. Okay. So, but I'm guessing he's not singing at this point. I don't know what these are because I didn't pay attention. So we're gonna pretend he's singing here and you see the animation go through okay so here what i'm going to do is cut it and turn it to a segment now if you don't know how to do that b will create the starting part of your little clip and i recommend you duplicate before you do this then n puts the ending so shorten it to whatever size you want trim to comp by right click and clicking trim to comp so now we have this little area. Perfect, amazing, beautiful, fabulous. Now we want to make it black. So remove that, and here's the important part, okay? This is what will create your animation. Here you don't have the mode of track mat. Track mat is going to be turning the black into the only thing visible of this layer, since, sh sh um, since Sherlock here does not actually appear the whole entire time, he only appears in the black area. So, alpha mat, face, Sherlock, three. Okay? He's the third face, and he appears. Wow, fabulous, amazing. Okay, cool. So, I realized one tiny little detail that I should have. These faces are not actually exactly to the same scale, so I'm going to real quick fix that out. I'm going to select all these, put them about 25%. So we see their faces. They're totally different sizes, and this is kind of important for you. So try to make them all the same size. Here, this guy, I'm just going to do the whole face, like, general. Basing it off Sherlock here. Okay, this guy's head is ginormous, so make it a bit tinier. That's opacity, my mistake. Copying that guy, boom. Try to get his eyes and nose and mouth together. That's the keys right there. So about that's good. And this guy here, same thing. So now they have everyone's size about the same. Grab them all, do the exact same thing. So it completes the whole frame. That is extremely important and completes everything. And then you just organize them again. So the eyes. Try to get them all in the same place. Close enough. So now we enable the face layer, the face solid with the alpha mat. Make everyone perfectly visible to 100%. So we have one. We already have one of these things done. And that is what? I'm gu guessing five minutes. I don't know. I'm not paying attention to this. So. We have one of these faces. Sherlock is done. Yay. I'm going to quickly save. Save every couple minutes. That is extremely important. If you do not save, you're going to hate yourself. Now, now what we're going to do is get the other one from the section. We get Jesse McCartney. Grab him. Put him here. Put him above Jesse McCartney. Same thing. Above face. The solid above the actual video. Alpha mat. Now you're like, oh, there's nothing. I don't see anything. Well, it's still there, but we didn't take off the color. That was a test. Or was it? I just forgot. Sorry. And I did it wrong. So we had to go here, Jesse, and raise the opacity. Okay? So it's full on black, no color. That's how we like it. <laughs> now, there we go. Now we're missing almost nothing here. Just want to make sure everything's good. My timing's off. Oh well. Crap, my timing's really off. Oh. Uh, 
I don't know why this one's so long. Oh, I think I messed up the time. I'm gonna redo Jesse. So you mess up something, since it's a tiny little thing, um, it doesn't affect the whole entire video. It'll just affect a tiny sequence. So remember, take off that, the color, and 100%. Okay, let's see this. I think I messed up on one of them. Oh, there we go. That was my mistake. Okay. These face solids here, these always have to be off, okay? Okay, right now, um, messed it up, but at least this is a general idea, okay? It's almost to what it, our goal was. I got a little issue with the timing, but... So let's take this again. If you have any timing issues, take the two solids that you had, remove the alpha mats, copy the layers that you want, remove everything, make sure they're all 100%. So they should both appear. Perfect. Okay. So, now we actually put them in the right order. Sherlock above Sherlock, McCartney above McCartney, off of Matt, all of them, and you're good to go. Okay? So what we have here, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. Now, since I didn't take my full-on time on how to do this, there's still a couple errors. But, that is fully fixable because these are solids, okay? And they all have their own keyframes. And since it's a segment, it won't be affecting everything else if you change anything. So, I hope this guy's helped you. And before I end this off, I'm going to go through the video real quick and explain the more complicated areas. Okay, so from here onward, this would be two solids of Jesse McCartney. So Jesse McCartney will have two solids in that layer. So I recommend doing a sort of here where you have this thing. Instead of having one, you just duplicate it and move it around. So he would be visible twice. Okay, and then you just animate them both separately. Now here, everything is basically the same. The only time it will start getting a lot more complicated is, for instance, this one here. If you actually look at it, it looks it's, it's not insanely complicated, okay? So, what you do see and what you don't see. I see three solids per face, okay? So, here's Sherlock with his fabulous hair and his beard. No, no, that's not him. But there it is, there is his beard, okay? Sherlock with his beard. So, here's one solid right here. One giant solid up here one tiny solid of McCartney, one large solid of McCartney, so each one actually has two, not three, my mistake. Each one has two solids in this clip, okay? So it will be a little hard to work on this part, but it is manageable. Now, these, it's, in this part is two, one small solid and one large solid, okay? And it is exact same thing for all of them. Large solid here, large solid here, large solid here, and a small solid of another one in between it, okay? So if we just look at it real quick, exactly, large, 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 and then the tiny one. So in reality, this is not complicated at all. I was just looking at it weird. It's the exact same thing of what we just did here. Wait for it. Of sliding them in. You're in the exact same thing, but just with the smaller size. The identical thing, okay? Now, the part where it really gets more complicated is this part. This part looks a lot more complicated, but 
it actually isn't. I know you're like, Mike, seriously, it's insanely, it's, you're, you're an idiot, man, it's gonna take forever. Yeah, it is, it is gonna take some time, but you just look at the parts that is actually there. Here is McCartney, 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 and McCartney. So here's four, so five solids. Here's five solids in this image going around, okay? Now, what you can do is only do two of the faces and leave the other one alone, okay? So the only ones that are actually moving is McCartney and it seems to be Shaggy. Those are the only two and Sherlock is by himself. You just leave the image of Sherlock by himself. The only ones that are moving is McCartney and Shaggy. Sherlock is by himself, not moving at all in this footage. So you leave him the same way I left Shaggy here alone, okay? Please do it by sections. It will help you guys out a lot. Now, another part that will look relatively complicated is this. This here is rotation of a solid and scale. That is literally it, okay? Looks complicated. Rotation of the solid and scale, okay? So it is going to be two solids again repeating the exact same thing. Now, the m this one here is going to be really annoying. So this part here, I would do the pre-compositions, okay? I would do the grid, this thing here, that little grid right there. I would finish that part, and I would just continue it, okay? This rotation, I would do it separately. I would do that as a pre-composed section, okay? And just to do that is this. I'm on the grabby here, Eb grab a grab tool and the pointy point so after we go to the grab a grab tool to move it around we click the pointy point so here we have our solid pre-compose it and then from there that's where you do everything okay leave all the attributes here it doesn't really matter well, this is where you actually do the rotation okay because it'll be doing the composition based on what you have on the scene and if the rotation is off on you change it yourself this tool here, the anchor maker, it actually is panned behind the anchor point, okay? This lets you change the anchor point. I messed up. Now, once you change the anchor point, it actually lets you move it. If it lets me. And there, see? Boom. We, instead of rotating from the center, you actually rotate it from another section, okay? So you have the giant array of lines, and then the rotation is separate, okay? It would be a lot easier if you do it like that. Now, basically, uh, the other part I think I saw was, uh, I don't know if you have been seeing, but I've been saving constantly, even though this is not even my homework. So, bunch of grids of the exact same thing. Scale, also. Do the scale after you pre-compose it. So, here we have the pre-composed. Scale it as well. And then do the rotation as well. So, segments, please do it by segments, and then scale and rotate. Now, save all the time. Then, that's it. And then, you guys are done. It is time consuming, but hopefully, with this, it does not become as time consuming. Hope you guys hope this helps you guys out and I'm sorry if this is all choppy in the way I said it and laid it out I didn't really plan this video as I do my other videos um, if you guys want more in depth I'll happily do it when I'm not doing exams with you guys alright good luck guys try to sleep <laughs>